So we're looking at the Xbox One uh, with software related problems or possible hard drive issues. Um, there are several symptoms to look out for, which we've already discussed on the page, uh, but the console's on, we've got a blank screen. The screen could be blue, it could be green, uh, it could be just a blank black screen, depending on your, uh, your monitor setup. Uh, but the bottom line is we can't boot into the operating system for one uh, reason or another. Now the first step uh, to try uh, is to see if we can get into the troubleshooting mode or safe mode with the console. So the first thing to do is to switch the console back off first of all. <clears throat> so I'm going to hard switch it off by holding the button down till it turns off. Now we're going to boot it up into safe mode. So to boot your console up into safe mode, whether you've got the Xbox One original or the S or the X, doesn't matter which model it is, the principle is still the same. What we need to be doing, we need to be pressing three buttons at the same time, okay? So we want the eject switch, we want the bin switch, and we want the on-off button as well. So with, with this version that we've got here, uh, we want the eject button, which is over here, and we've got the sync switch, which is over here, or if you've got the Xbox original, the sync button or the bin switch, as I call it, is over there on the left-hand side. So you want to locate that, you want the DV, the Blu-ray drive button as well, which on the original will be there. And you want the on-off button over here. So what the, the process is to press the two buttons first. Before you, before you click on the on-off switch, you want to click on the two buttons first. So one button is over here. Oops, it's come on now. So let me just take it out. So we want the eject button, the sync button. Holding those down first of all, and once those are held down, then we press once on the on-off button. So I've got those two held down, and then once on the on-off button, there you hear the click, and you hold the other two buttons down, and you keep holding them down until you hear the beep again. Normally about eight seconds. There you go. There's the beep. And then you can take the hands off the buttons. Right. <laughs> now we've done that. We've got it booted up into the troubleshooting or safe mode now, which is what we want. So if you can get into this safe mode screen, then the chances are you run for a successful repair of your hard drive or software related issue, most likely. Not always. If the hard drive has got uh, uh, mechanical problems, um, then you may not be able to resolve the, the issue. You, then you might have to swap the hard drive out for a new one. See my uh, hard drive replacement page <clears throat> if that's the case. But once we got to this screen here, uh, we can now go ahead and put the USB stick in with the offline uh, update file on, which we put from the computer onto the stick. Uh, we can now go ahead and install this. So we've got our USB stick. Now it's time to put it into the console. So USB port at the front. Put the USB stick in. Make sure it's the right way around. Okay. Once we put the USB stick in, on the screen you should notice the offline system update which was blanked out a minute ago now is white. If you put the USB stick in and this is still blanked out and, no, and not white like it is there, it means there's a problem with either the USB stick, the formatting of the stick or the file hasn't gone onto the stick for some reason so you need to start again. Uh, and if that's the case, start right from the start, format the stick again, go to the website, download the OSU1 file, put it onto the stick and then try again. Okay, now, um, so we want to do an update uh, from the stick. What we want to do is we want to select the offline system updates by moving the, the, uh, the cursor, moving the controller across to offline system update first of all. So we move the cursor over to offline system updates and then we press on that and it's now going to prepare the console ready for uploading the OSU1 software update onto the console. So hopefully this should resolve your, uh, your uh, software problems. Um, it can be used in a wide range of circumstances as we've already discussed. Uh, so give that a go. If that fails then you need to troubleshoot some more. So you tried uploading the OSU file onto the console and you've had no joy whatsoever. So either it hasn't finished or there's a problem. Whatever the issue is, uh, if you don't see the dashboard at the end of it or the console doesn't boot up as if it's a new console uh, for setup, you've got a problem. So what you want to do is you go back to the to the start again, take a USB stick, go and format it on your computer, go to Xbox's website, download the file again, uh, part, put the make sure your drive is set up correctly uh, with the system update file on there. So get that all done, go back to the console again, 
and try it again. Okay, if that doesn't work, uh, what you could do is you could try resetting the Xbox, uh, which is what we're going to do now. So what you would do is you to get into this troubleshooting mode. Don't forget, you need the three uh, three buttons. So it's the inject button, the sync button, and then uh, and then the uh, the on off button. Hold them all down until you come up with this screen here. Okay. Now once you've got this screen up, uh, you want to reset the console. This will scrub everything back to, uh, to factory settings. But the thing to think is you're struggling with your hard drive. So this is, you know, it, yes, it's drastic, but you might have to do it. So select reset this Xbox. And what it will do, it will take you through, uh, scrub your hard drive, and you'll be back to how it was when you first bought the console and you set it up again. Yes, you'll lose your info, but it's the next thing to do. If after resetting the console, it still doesn't reset back to factory settings, it's starting to look like there's a problem with your hard drive. So at this point, it's time to start thinking about buying a new hard drive, swapping out your existing hard drive, putting in your new hard drive, and then you need to upgrade with the OSU1 file uh, to, uh, to get it up and running. But just bear in mind, if you're gonna buy a new hard drive, uh, it needs to be correctly partitioned first. Uh, so you need to look at one of our uh, guides to do that or you can buy one of the drives uh, fully partitioned from our website uh, and then you just need to upload the OSU1 file which will be provided with the drive when we send it out to you.